Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to remove an access point from the Ingenious Cloud, and I'll put a link in the description to my Ingenious playlist where you can find those videos. And I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and to use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to talk about using the management IP to access an access point before you've set it up. So I do want to disclose that the hardware that I'm using in this video was provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not compensating me for this video, and they're not reviewing it before I post it. So where I left off in the last video is on this management interface of one of the access points. So I have an IP address on my local LAN here, 192.168.7.170, and I logged into it using the default username and password. But if you just take this access point and plug it into your network, you need a way to locate it. So this access point has a separate management SSID that you can use. So I'm going to exit out of here. So I'll close this. And I have my Ingenious Cloud up, but I'm not going to use it just yet. So I want to go to the place on my computer where I select the Wi-Fi access point. So I have two access points here for Ingenious. I have the top one, it puts me on my LAN, okay? But that won't let me know the IP address of the access point. The second one is a management access point. So I want to go and select the management access point. So now we're connected up to that. I'll open up a new tab. So I'll type in the access point. 192.168.100.1, I'll hit enter, and here we have a web interface for the access point. So I'll type in admin and admin for my username and password. I'll hit login, and here we're logged into the access point. So we're actually on a separate network from the LAN, and you can see here it tells us the IP address of the access point. So we could go on our LAN and connect to this access point, that would be fine. The main thing we need to set this up in the Ingenious Cloud though is the serial number. So I'll go over here and I'll copy this. So if I go over here to Ingenious Cloud and try and load it, it's not going to load. So what I need to do is get on the internet. So what I'll do is I'll go back up to my Wi-Fi access point and I'll choose the regular Ingenious SSID here and I'll refresh this URL. Now I can connect up to the Ingenious Cloud. I'll go down here to the little building at the bottom. I'll go to inventory. I'll say register device and I can paste in that serial number. I'll hit register. I'll hit done. And now I can select the access point and say assign to network. And I'll assign to my network and I'll say apply. And now it has signed it to my network. I can go up here to manage dashboard and the access point will show up here in just a second. So you can look on the back of the device to get the serial number. You can use a QR code to set it up. This would be a good way to set it up if it's been installed, say like on a high ceiling and you don't have access to it and you don't want to crawl up and you know, pull it off to take a picture of it for the QR code or type in the serial number. You can use that management radio to access it. So I think the preferred method would be to use a QR code with the app on say like a phone or something. The second method would be to type in the serial number, and I think this is the third method if the other two aren't easy to do. Okay, so this is done here, so I'm going to connect to that network now because I'm still connected to that other access point. Okay. Okay, so I connected up to the SSID I have on here, which is Rick Makes. It's right here. So this is up and running now. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.